Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this kind of graph and the area under the graph. This could be used for many other applications as well. I assume you guys have installed correctly from my previous tutorial the link is above right here so let's go to the folder we had uh, installed our menu go to the main menu folder and let's create a new folder I called my new folder integral okay let's uh, create a new pi file in the VS code I usually use VS Code because it's very easy to edit and code on VS Code. I recommend it for you guys as well. So I name my file integral.py and quickly I start coding uh, what I want. First I need to import necessary libraries from manimlib.imports import everything and also import uh, numpy let's develop the graphs and area under the graph i already have all this uh, ready so i'm uh, trying to copy and paste so we we don't need to spend so much time so let's do our uh, class first integral and remember it's gonna be uh, graph scene and then uh, have your configuration our configuration mostly are the um, default values but we're gonna change just the uh, the range we want to our maximum y be 8 you know you can choose whatever based on your graph you are gonna show you're showing and uh, I want my axis height y axis height to be 5 uh, again you can change this you can play with this and uh, learn actually you have to play a lot with them so let's define the construction construction function the construction function uh, actually construct what you have coded after this. So uh, this show function graph right here, we are going to make another function called show function graph and everything going to be under that. So you are not going to write anything else under the construct function. Okay. So let's define the math functions okay again uh, I have show function graph right here so under that uh, everything I'm doing gonna be go under this this function so I set up my axis the animation it could be true or false for animating my uh, coordinate system and then have your uh, function defined you can choose whatever uh, math function you want I choose this because this make it like look a little bit better and uh, you know, I, as I have it already so I, I didn't want to change it you guys can uh, choose whatever you want you can choose sine cosine any kind of exponential any kind of function you want okay so let's define the graph actually uh, we have to get uh, self dot get graph and then uh, the range of graph we want to be between 0.2 and 9 I selected and then you can change the color of the graph to yellow this way so the next step is to just play the graphs you know I have my simple graph before adding the uh, the rectangular and uh, Rimon elements I just uh, want to run it and see how it looks like so go to the main menu uh, folder type CMD 
uh, your command prompt will pop up and then uh, just type python dash m manim and write the directory that you have for this file which for me is integral backslash integral.py and you want it like, like uh, high quality and after it generate you want it to play so dash p when you have a high quality it, it's gonna take a little bit time when you have low quality it's gonna generate it so fast so uh, our graph is generated right here so what i want to do i want to have a range under the curve that i want like integrate so uh, we want to define that area so let's define the rectangular function first uh, this function i call it rect and you just uh, very simple function you can give it like x and then uh, again uh, get your graph from manim it's uh, self dot get graph and give your function and the range that you want have your uh, I mean rectangle in that range this is not the range of uh, integration this is the range that this rectangular can be added there okay so please pay attention for that so let's add the Riemann rectangles first uh, we need to add uh, keyword arguments our keyword arguments is x min x max which tells us which part of the graph we want to have our Riemann to which part from 2 to 8 you can play with these numbers and see what you got this is very helpful to help you to learn so and uh, you want to fill opacity and stroke width you can again change these values to see what's happening to your graph this is the best way to understand what this uh, values exactly mean and then uh, I make myself that graph called a graph and number of iterations I want in the uh, animation I want to be six now uh, I need to have my manim uh, syntax is to to actually animate the program it's right here so I say for so the list of rectangular uh, this is the this is directly from Manim. Get Riemann rectangles list. Then you're gonna have your graph number of iterations you had six, start color and end color, and also keyword uh, arguments. Those are all can be changed, but try to remember what we are doing. All are this are in the Manim, uh, the folder you have installed. And then you need to have flat rectangles. Again, get uh, Riemann rectangles. You know, the previous one was the list. This is the rectangles itself. Uh, and uh, get graph. For lambda, we want it to start from zero. Lambda x, we want to start from zero. From the, the zero position to the where the graph starts and the, the width dx is 0.5 the color and also uh, start color and end color and keyword arguments you know these are the things you have to play a lot with them in order to remember and in order to understand what else you can do this is like just a very simple one you can make lots of change uh, to your animation okay now i want to say uh, the pattern of my rectangles I define it rects uh, called to self that rect list when you have it zero it's like kind of big uh, rectangles and then uh, when you select rectangular list 
one, two, three, you're gonna see it, you, you're gonna have a different uh, size of rectangles and then transform between the Riemann rectangles, flat rectangles, and then uh, and then the rest of it. This rects here is coming from just above it, okay? The other values all are coming from uh, right here, this area, okay? rectangle right here but the rects is coming from here and uh, for now uh, it seems like we have a simple uh, Riemann animation let's run it and see remember always save before running it otherwise it's not gonna work so uh, I run it in high quality at dash P and when you you don't need to repeat every time the typing it just use arrow in order to get the previous uh, typing you had okay I have my graph here and then this is my the Riemann rectangles under the curve you, you can see it started from 2 to 8 you can change these values and see how it uh, goes up and down. You can even select the minus uh, values. What else I can do? You know, if I change it this uh, zero to two, you're gonna see the difference. Let's run it. Sometimes, uh, you know, when your animation is longer, this is gonna take so much time. So I recommend uh, when you are trying to always use minus PL. So low quality, the first. Okay, so you see the difference? Now my rectangles are, uh, the bits are very smaller than before. So I can uh, play with that by using a for loop uh, in order to make my animation a little bit more fancier. Let's make a loop, very simple loop. Just I'm going to say from uh, for i in the range, blah blah, blah and then uh, I'm going to have a change for rectangle list. So for j in the range between 1 to 6, so I'm not including the 0 because I have it already. And then self transform between the Riemann rec rectangles, rectangle list, and uh, you, you could see the rest of it. So let's uh, run it and see. Uh, what we got It's gonna take a little bit longer because I am uh, doing lots of Riemann uh, Change in animation. That's why it's taking a little bit longer time Pay attention to this part sometimes you got errors that when you read it, it exactly tells you where is your problem Okay, this is my graph, first time, second, third, and then till like very small one. You see, you can play with the color. I changed it, I had it like a specific color. You can play with color and see which one you really like the most. And then also you can add text as before. So let's add a like very simple uh, random text so you guys learn how to add the text. Uh, I'm gonna add like the, like and subscribe. Yeah, always uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe and share with your friends my video and support me so I can uh, keep doing this. And I believe Manim is great and it will be uh, very famous and popular quickly very soon so I have my uh, text object like and subscribe and then I want my uh, text subject which is sub that next to I want to next to graph the previous graph I had right and I want it to be in top of, in up in top of the graph okay and then just uh, self-play. After self-play, you have to defi uh, define the, uh, the way you want it to be uh, animated. You want it to be like written or you want it to be like creation. 
there's like different uh, options over there okay and then you can also set the uh, color you see the VS code is good when you are writing you can see uh, the, your your options do that I really recommend using VS code so and then uh, scale it I scale 1.1 10% larger than what it is and I believe it's fine we can save it and go for run okay again use arrow in order to play your animation you run and then play your animation pay attention when I have uh, minus P minus PL okay I got error uh, okay the error is it seems my sub okay here I have to have a lowercase okay let's run one more time remember uh, when you have an error message there are different error message but you're gonna go and find your own uh, code the rest are okay but you're gonna find your own uh, if you go one by one you're gonna see okay this is the integral integral and then uh, you're gonna see what's your problem you're gonna read a little bit and then find your own code and then you can fix it easily right there it's written like your sob wasn't correct so it seems I have my uh, graph let's run it and see my animation and then this is my text please like and subscribe and share with your friends and uh, support me with that uh, thank you very much and have a good day bye bye